Hi, it's Carrie. Today I'm going to show you Polyglot Search Translator. Polyglot is one of a suite of tools from the website Systematic Review Accelerator, a project of Bond University and the Institute for Evidence-Based Healthcare. So Polyglot's big bonus is that it lets you translate your search into other platforms. So the idea is that you put in a PubMed or an Ovid Medline search in this box, and then you can get MBA CINAHL, Web of Science, Cochrane, and some other databases here translated. Now where you have to be careful is syntax, field tags, and subject headings. If your search has medical subject headings, which it should, MeSH, it's not going to just translate that into mtree subject headings. It doesn't have access to that information. And in fact, if you go to the help section here, it'll tell you how Polyglot works and where you need to be careful. So you need to start with a PubMed or Ovid Medline search string, and it does not automatically map subject terms across databases. Also, they ask that if you use this tool, you cite the tool with this article. Here are the steps. So you can access this by going to the help section. I'm going to go back to Polyglot Search and just walk you through. Here we have an empty box, which is where we would put our search. I'm going to leave this unchecked. I didn't notice that it made a difference for me earlier. Here's where you can clear your search if you had it in there. You can copy to clipboard. You can see a random example. Let's see a random example. Here's a random example. It looks like you can add notes to your search the same way that programmers add notes to their queries. It looks like an Ovid Medline search. And in Ovid Medline, you can use adjacency. So they've done that here. And they've used medical subject headings, which we can see through EXP. Now, PubMed does not allow for adjacency, so what it does instead is break those phrases apart and just use and instead. So you have to be careful if you're using adjacency proximity. Here we see the same search. It has translated adjacency operators to the proper syntax for each database, so that's really nice. Now what we don't know is if these are actually mtree headings. So they, they were medical subject headings. We don't know if they're mtree headings. If you have access to Embase, you'll need to double check. And if you don't have access to Embase, well, I guess you won't be using this search. So we can see more options down here. All you have to do is expand. You have the option to copy to the clipboard. So this was one of the examples that was provided by the Polyglot Search Translator. Let me show you with one of my searches. I've created a short one here. Um, cystic fibrosis and trikafta for PubMed. I'm going to copy that and go back to the translator. Let's clear this search, paste my query, and here's my query. Everything looks okay. And if we scroll down, we can see that it translated it pretty well. Like I said, you have to be careful about subject headings and translate them appropriately. But it's a really good starting place to help you with translating searches. Make sure you're always looking at database documentation if you're not sure. You don't want to run a search that has mistakes in it. If you're searching for comprehensive literature reviews, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.